Hi everybody, uh, during this video we'll see uh, details concerning Configuration Manager, uh, Statistics Manager and Log Manager which are available for any instance in Gelastic. So let's move to Dashboard. So let's start from a uh, Configuration Manager. Uh, opposite to any instance in Gelastic there is a config button so if I click on it uh, we will see set of folders um, <coughs> this specific set of folders which is uh, actually uh, available for example in Apache uh, instances for example Ap uh, Apache Tomcat uh, Java application server will have another uh, its own set of um, folders. These folders and actually all these files are physically located um, in virtual container so this is just displaying of that folder um, in the browser. Um, <coughs> uh, there is, for example, if we are talking about Apache and um, there is a web root where all applications are located so we have a WordPress application deployed so here it is it's possible to edit some uh, some files so to make changes on the fly for example it's pretty useful also a cron folder a keys folder for making making some uh, security features to put private keys conf.d this uh, uh, set of configuration files uh, also uh, php.ini this uh, main php file configuration file it's also possible to <coughs> to make some changes to customize that uh, also for example um, each instance in Gelastic um, Actually, Gelastic provides for each instance uh, its main configure at least one uh, configuration file. So, for example, if we are talking about Apache, this is httpd.conf. And also, there is a uh, folder with the modules. So, this uh, uh, configuration manager, which is a set of folders and uh, um, files inside. Uh, to be changed and uh, it's possible to be ch uh, to change that right from the dashboard pretty useful feature for example if we open this uh, the same manager in our tomcat which is java application server we will see a bit different set of folders but the idea is the same this uh, web apps a typical Tomcat folder where all deployed projects are located. Home folder where um, it's useful to store some static files. The same Chrome, uh, Chrome folder uh, and uh, some specific Java folders like Java Home or Lib. This is analog. Uh, this is analog of modules folder in PHP. Um, under server folder there is a set of configuration files so not only one like apache has but uh, a big set of files uh, next we want we would like to uh, display is <coughs> log manager log manager is also available for any instance um, this uh, this button log and as a result we will get uh, own um, list of file which corresponds to a um, specific instance so for example we opened the log manager for Apache so this is a typical Apache uh, application server logs for example, error log and when it's useful to use, sure, to check some uh, information, to make some troubleshooting steps, 
during deployment, during uh, issue resolution, as for customers and uh, for you is also uh, possible and very useful as well. For example, just for comparison, if we open Log Manager for uh, Tomcat application server, we'll see its own set of files, but the idea is the same. Uh, also, these files are um, physically located and physically available right from the um, container, right from the uh, correspondent, uh, correspondent virtual machine. And the last we would like to cover is a statistics manager. Uh, this is a statistics button opposite to um, appropriate instances. So if you click on it, uh, we'll see four plots uh, concerning CPU usage, RAM usage, network activity and uh, disk space usage. Um, it's pretty clear, I suppose. There is a possibility to set duration, to set interval, and uh, just ability to to see some specific graphics, um, to see some data uh, close closer. So I suppose it's pretty pretty clear. Thank you for your attention.